Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how I made my last thumbnail for my last video. And you guys can apply all these tips and tricks to make your own really cool image. Now you may be surprised how easy it is. So without further ado, let's get started. So first thing you want to do is open up your photo editor. I'm going to be using photo P and you want to get two images. So I got image number one right here, which I generated in chat GPT. That's what my last video was about. If you want to know how to do that. And here is the other image. Now, once you have both your images in here, you want to kind of separate them like so. Pretty much in half. Then what you're going to want to do from this point is you're going to want to add a clipping mask to this image right here. So what you're going to want to do is select it by clicking on it on the right side and go down here to this little icon right here. Add a raster mask. And you want to make sure that this box right here is selected. Now what you want to do is go over here to these two boxes and have the top one white and the bottom one black. You can change it by just clicking on the box and choosing your color. Now you're going to want to go to the brush tool over here on the left. And if you hold alt and right click and you move your mouse, you can adjust the hardness, softness and left and right for the size. So it makes it way easier to just quickly, you know, manipulate the brush how you want. So you're going to be altering it a lot throughout this. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just kind of follow along. So pretty much how a raster mask works is this. So your top box right here is white, right? So when you use your brush, it's going to paint on white. But as you can see here, this is white as well. So it's not going to do anything. Now, if you press X, you can swap between the two. So if you have black, then what it's going to do is it's going to erase the white part, which gives it this cool blending effect, right? So let's hit control Z and undo that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to blend this image and make it look pretty seamless. So I'm just going to go around everything and adjust my brush as I go. So like around this cloud, for example, kind of blend it. Oops. See, now I turned it white again. I got to turn it black and messed up. Just going to kind of blend it together. Now let's say I want this building to not be like feathered out. I'm going to make sure the hardness on my brush is like pretty cranked. So now if I draw on it, it looks pretty dang good. See that now it looks like it's actually just there but this part looks a little weird so you're gonna want to feather that out okay like so and it'll take some time if you really want it to be uh perfect but that's kind of the fun of it you can put buildings in front of different things like in front of this lava here or you could put it behind it like i did over here it's really up to you. All right, so I'd say this looks pretty freaking awesome. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add that light beam right here in the middle just to separate both of the images a little bit. So what you're going to want to do is go down here to the bottom right, this little page icon. That's a new layer button. So go ahead and click on that and make sure it's at the very top of your layers. You're going to want to use your brush tool for this, and I would use the color white, but it's up to you. Now adjust your brush size and start drawing. Now you could go a little, okay, someone's texting me, come on. You could go a little, bro, it's not that serious, quit texting me. I would go a little bit smaller than I just did, just because it looks better that way. And what you're going to want to do is click on that layer and change it to overlay. Or you can experiment with other ones like color dodge, multiply, darken, whatever one you want. I think overlay looks the best though. Now, if you duplicate the layer, it makes it look even stronger, but I personally like this look a lot better. Okay, so now we got that part out of the way. Now what we're gonna do is add some more lighting effects to each of these images. So I'm gonna zoom out a bit and I'm gonna click this new layer button one more time. 
go to my brush tool and change the color to some kind of red or orange like over here I'm gonna just make my own and I'm gonna make my brush really big and I'm just gonna like paint it on up here and down here maybe like right here as well and I'm gonna do the same but for this layer right here so make a new one change the color to like a blue or something and do the same okay now you can change the blend mode to overlay for this as well for both of them or you can try color dodge which looks cool as well I prefer color dodge for this one it just looks really awesome now you can see the before and the after it just it's really eye-catching and I love it so now we're gonna add the logo in the middle all right so I found their logo online just a nice little PNG I'm just gonna copy this and bring it into my project and what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to make sure it's on top of everything or if you want some of these light effects to go on the logo which I think looks pretty cool just put the light on top of it like that I think that looks awesome so I'm gonna add a little shadow behind this though so double click on that layer and you can go down here to drop shadow and adjust these settings I'm just gonna adjust the opacity a bit but I'll leave everything else the same it just adds a little nice touch to it so now the final thing we're gonna do is mess with the curves so go down here to this half circle and click on curves now what I like to do is I like to go to red Go up a little bit on this line and down a little bit on this line. Green, do the same. And blue, you can either go down and up, so opposite to give it a nice blue tint. Or if you want, you can just do RGB and just do that. So you don't have to do it on all of them. This just gives it more color and like more contrast. I personally like it that way. And that's all you have to do. So it was super easy. I hope it helped you guys. Maybe you guys can use these tips in some other projects. But um, yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.